Samsung has just rolled out an update to one of its most underrated yet powerful customization tools, One Hand Operation Plus. And this time, it's not just bug fixes or small UI tweaks, it's tweaking a core behavior in One UI 8. And for those of you using Galaxy S25 series devices or the newly launched Galaxy Z Fold 7 and Z Flip 7, you'll want to know exactly what's changed. With the latest version, V8 2 17.0, Samsung has made a surprising adjustment. After installing this version of One Hand Operation Plus, you'll notice the system back gesture is now turned off by default. That's right, what was once on by default is now disabled, at least when you're using this updated gesture app on devices running One UI 8. Now, if you're wondering why Samsung would do this, the change appears to be all about optimizing gesture performance with the latest UI version. One UI 8 includes Android's new protective back gesture feature, which is part of the broader effort by Google and Android OEMs to unify and refine gesture-based navigation across all devices. Samsung's latest move seems to support that effort by making sure One Hand Operation Plus doesn't clash with the system-level gesture settings. Think of it this way, One UI 8 is built around a much smarter, smoother navigation experience. Samsung has packed it with gesture enhancements under the hood, including experimental features buried inside the lab section of your device settings. By defaulting the system back gesture to off when you enable One Hand Operation Plus, Samsung is basically giving you full control. It prevents gesture overlap and allows you to decide how you want your phone to respond when swiping from the edge. This update is currently available through the Galaxy Store or via the Good Lock app. If you're using the Galaxy S25 Fold 7 or Flip 7, you're among the first to benefit as these devices are running the latest One UI 8 straight out of the box. The broader rollout of One UI 8 is scheduled to begin on July 25th, starting with these new foldables and slowly making its way to older eligible Galaxy models. Beyond the gesture tweak, One Hand Operation Plus version 8.2, 17.0 also includes general bug fixes and performance improvements, Always a good thing when you're relying on this app for seamless edge-based gestures. And here's something else worth noting. This gesture app isn't operating in isolation. It's part of a bigger push from Samsung to bring deeper customization to users through GoodLock and its suite of modules. Just recently, Samsung also released a new version of the Home Up app, specifically tailored for One UI 8. This update brings extended animation control and brand new blur icon features, letting you personalize your experience more than ever before. So if you're the kind of user who loves customizing every little aspect of your phone, be it how windows open, how fast icons fade in, or how edge gestures feel under your fingers, then this update is for you. And when you combine HomeUp's new blur and animation options with One Hand Operation Plus's improved gesture settings, One UI 8 starts to feel less like a standard Android skin and more like your personal playground. It's clear Samsung is taking customization to a whole new level in 2025. From offering experimental features through labs to empowering users with modules like Home Up and One Hand Operation Plus, One UI 8 feels like a platform that's ready to evolve alongside its users. Now, if you've never used GoodLock before, or if One Hand Operation Plus sounds unfamiliar, this is a good time to give it a try. These tools are hidden gems in the Samsung ecosystem. While most users rely on default gestures, power users know that a few tweaks here and there can seriously upgrade how a phone feels day to day. As Samsung pushes further into foldables and premium user experience, it's no surprise they're treating software as seriously as hardware. Updates like these, subtle yet impactful, are what make One UI one of the most flexible and user-focused Android experiences around. So to sum it up, One Hand Operation Plus V8 2 17.0 is live, and it's bringing thoughtful gesture changes to One UI 8, including a new default setting that turns off the system back gesture. If you're rocking a Galaxy S25 series or one of Samsung's new foldables, this is your cue to dive into good luck, try the latest update, and explore what your device can really do. Whether it's smoother gesture control, deeper animation tweaks, or simply the joy of making your phone behave exactly the way you like, it's clear Samsung's not just giving us new phones, they're giving us the tools to make those phones truly ours.